Hi dear students, today let's discuss the new lesson Fibers from Animals. In this lesson, we will learn about two animal fibers, silk and wool. Let's discuss about silk. Clothes made of silk fabric are soft, lustrous and extremely comfortable. Some varieties of silk fabric like grey, satin etc. are always in demand. Silk is a natural protein fiber of exceptional strength, texture and luster. Silk is produced by insects such as silkworms, bees, wasps, spiders etc. But Silk produced by silk worms only processed into silk fabrics. Silk was discovered first in China. Today, India is the second largest producer of silk. Life cycle of silk moth. The life cycle of silk moth begins with laying microscopic egg and ends with the emergence of a beautiful moth. The female silk moth lays tiny microscopic eggs. Tiny black caterpillars or larvae emerge from these eggs. These caterpillars feed on mulberry leaves and grow. Then they spin a protective cocoon of silk threads around themselves. These cocoons white or golden color. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar change into pupae. Pupa is the non-feeding stage of development between the last larval and adult forms. After two or three weeks, beautiful silk moths emerge from the cocoons. Silk is processed from cocoons. Once the silk worms spin a protective cocoon around themselves, these cocoons boiled in hot water to separate the silk fiber from the cocoons. Each cocoon is made of one single silk thread. The trick is to locate one end of the thread. Then it's easy to unwind the thread from the cocoons. The process of taking out thread from the cocoon for use as silk is called reeling. These silk threads are then used to manufacture silk fabric. Silk is strong and resilient fiber. It's soft to touch but not slippery. It has sheen and luster. It is hypoallergenic and it absorbs moisture. Silk is warm in winters and cool in summers. It is easy to maintain. Tassel silk Munga silk and Kosa silk are different varieties of silk. Mulberry silk is the most popular of all categories of silk and is produced by mulberry silk moth. Next, let's discuss about wool. Wool is derived from the fur of animals of the Caprinae family, principally sheep. Hair of other mammals like goats, alpacas may be also called wool. Wool absorbs moisture. Scales and creams make it easier to spin. It's bulky, so retains air and heat. It's made up of keratin, resistant to most organic acids and some powerful mineral acids like Sulfuric acid. Uses of wool. It's used for clothing, carpeting, insulation, etc. Sheep breeding. Here, the parent sheep are specially selected to give birth to an offspring that has only soft under hairs, which are mainly used for making wool. Processing of wool. Shearing is the process of removing wool from the sheep using a shearing machine. 
Wool straight of a sheep contains a high level of grease, dirt, dead skin, vegetable matter and linoleum and is known as grease wool. The wool is then separated into fleece, pieces, bellies, crutchings and logs. Scoring or cleaning of grease wool is done in warm water or through an industrial process using alkali and detergent. Chemical carbonization is the removal of vegetable matter from wool by the chemical process. Semi-grease wool can be made into yarn and knit up into sweaters. Chiru is the world's finest and warmest wool obtained from the under coast of Tibetan antelope. Chiru known as king of wool. The Vicuna produces small amounts of extremely fine wool. It is a relative of the llama and alpaca. Angora wool refers to the downy coat produced by the Angora rabbit. Kashmiri wool is made from Australian Kashmir goat and is fine in texture. Thank you dear students. The lesson is completed.